What's up guys, Death here. Um, so basically, first I'm going to start off with uh, the last character that I created. Actually, I had some issues with the save files. So, I'm actually going to, I deleted all those, I'm actually going to start a new character. Um, I decided against the alternate start mod. Um, basically what happened there was, I, f I was looking at it and I decided I liked the random alternate start mod better because it just it has more you know it's it's more random first of all obviously and then second of all it's just got so many more different starts as opposed to I think there's like you know no more than 20 uh, starting locations in the live another life mod so I did change the alternate start sorry about that uh, screensaver decided to come up so we'll go ahead and get started now I have been thinking about some characters and how how we're gonna do this um, Alright, sorry about that. I uh, don't know what was going on. I was having some frame issues as well as uh, it was taking a while to load. So I went ahead and I closed this down, shut down some stuff, see if I could, couldn't uh, up that a little bit. Um, it looks like it's starting us in Riverwood right now. I'm not sure if this is standard or not. As I said, I've never used this one before. So, what we're actually going to do is I am going to do a it is gonna I'm gonna do a Nord and I'm gonna do a female I mean who who doesn't like watching a female kill you know everything um, basically this female was kidnapped as a child by bandits And she found a book on necromancy, actually, at one point. Um, so, as she was being held captive, you know, through three years, she, what happened was she um, basically learned, you know, she learned some swords and stuff by just examining the the bandits she is uh... she's very smart girl she learns she learns well and quickly um, so by watching them she she kinda learned some combat technique as well as she actually found a book that was uh... part of one of their raids she it was a book on necromancy like i said um, and she began studying this book um, this character is going to kind of hopefully develop out into a spell sword of sorts um, that uses, you know, a lot of necromancy as well as um, sword combat or dagger. I'm not quite sure yet. Um, one handed light weapon combat. And I'll probably look for some extra um, necromancy mods to add to this. You know, the vanilla is not completely full of lots of exciting options um, if anyone's got some suggestions on that uh, please do let me know right now let's decide on does she have any scars I, I think she's got scars from uh, being held captive you know being kidnapped by bandits I think she's acquired some scars along the way fighting back and such. Um, I, li I like this one. And then war paint. You know, the whole with the necromancy thing. Uh, I just don't know if I really want to do some war paint, so 
I actually think that we'll keep that just plain. I like that nose. Um, not a real wide jaw. She's not real masculine. I actually do like the eye shape she has. Um, the eye shadow is a little dark. So we'll just go ahead and do no eye shadow or eye tint. You know, kind of, kind of a natural look. And then I actually really like the way this one looks. So we'll go ahead and just kind of change the hair up a little bit see if we can decide on a different hairstyle I like this one um, I kinda wish it was a ponytail in the back um, kinda like this now, the problem with this one is I have used it on male characters um, so it's a little weird also using it on a female character actually you know what here is the one I said that I liked so we'll go ahead and put that on there she's going to be a brunette and her name will be The name is always the worst part. I can never decide on a name. Hmm. Alright, for now, you know what? We'll just put a period there, um, kind of as a filler. She won't have a name. If you guys want to, you know, pitch some ideas for a name, I'll take a look at them and pick one. So I will go ahead and let's get started with picking our character. We are going to start with this. So this is the race we want. Like I said, she... She is a fast learner, so we do want the Lover Stone, because it does allow for quick learning. And we're going to do a custom class. We want to do... We're, we don't need a whole lot of Magicka, because we're going to be doing a lot of summoning, um, which does require some, but also at the same time... You know, the Nords do start with the negative to magicka so we'll actually go ahead and boost the magical magicka and let's see we want, we want one handed we do want smithing she'll be making a lot of her armor or a lot of yeah a lot of her armor um we do want heavy armor magic skills we want conjuration and maybe a little bit of destruction and for this we would like uh, you know I don't actually think we need much from the stealth so let's look a little bit more at the magicka Alright, we're going to do enchanting, um, as hopefully, you know, we'll get better and she'll, she will enchant her armor and her weapons and such. So we'll go ahead and do that. Alright. Now, we'll want to start with... We want to start with a combat kit. Um, basically, well, hold on. Let me look through these. I, I haven't used them before. Um, oh, 
Okay, so I feel a lot like any of these four will be good. I'm not exactly sure what a Nightblade is. Um, I'd imagine it's probably something more akin to uh, an assassin. So we'll go with a. She doesn't want to be a witch hunter, as she she is a necromancer. Um, so I think we're either going to do Nightblade or Spell Sword. Um, let's go ahead and do Nightblade. We'll see what that is. Uh, oh, it actually gives us Knights. Nightblades are spellcasters who use their magics to enhance mobility, concealment, and stealthy close combat. They have a sinister reputation since. All right, we don't want to be an assassin. So let's go ahead and look at sorcerer. Sorcerers rely most on summonings and enchantments. They are greedy for magic scrolls, rings, armor, and weapons, and commanding undead and daedric servants to gratify their egos. Okay, so it sounds like this is going to be our best bet. So we will go ahead and choose the sorcerer start. And it looks like it's actually going to put us in a random location. So let's see where we actually get to start out at. Hopefully we'll get somewhere good as I'll be using the realistic needs and diseases. I'll also be using Frostfall, Hunterborn, and a couple other mods such as that. Um, I'll be using the Pumping Iron mod so she may get bigger as time goes on. Um, let's see, what else might I use? I don't know that I really have all that much more. Um, Let's see, we can we can actually look at this. Um, I don't know that I have too much more that actually affect the that actually affect the playthrough. Um, yeah, so it looks like that's it. Before we activate any of that, we'll go ahead and kind of just, you know, play around, see what we were given. Um, let's see, item wise we have uh, worn hide armor, heavy armor boots, and heavy armor bracers. It's not horrible. Um, hopefully we can get a little bit better of those. Um, Alright, it looks like we don't have much of that. Let's see what we started out with um, spell-wise. Alright, so we just have flames. So we'll go ahead and put that on both hands for right now. Um... Sorry, I'll, I'll take random screenshots on occasion. I do actually like the way the character looks, although with Frostfall right now, this definitely would not be the armor to go with. Um, not actually sure why we're at the Thalmor Embassy. I feel like this is a bad place to be, uh, especially being a Nord, so I am going to try to walk away from here. My, the Let's see who this is. Has come to recognize Talos worship as a barbaric remnant of a bygone. Okay, well... We don't really care too much about her. So let's see, let's see where are we? What's what's our best bet going to be? I say probably we'll cut down to solitude. Um, see what we can pick up um, for now. As far as magic stuff goes, and honing our magic. We do at some point, um, we've heard rumors of the uh, College of Winterhold. So at some point we'll want to go there and, you know, see if maybe it's for us. We have a feeling being being a necromancer it probably won't be. Um, but we, uh, you know, that is what's going to happen for now. Um... Our character is very adventurous. She kind of just wants to find herself, um, being as she's been in captivity for as long as she can remember, um, and she does have a thirst for blood when it comes to bandits. Don't get me wrong; she feels very strongly about how how bandits are in Skyrim. Um, so. You know, at first maybe not, as she's not super strong, but she will go out of her way to try to eliminate bandits when she can. Um, 
other than that, uh, you know, we'll develop it as we go. If you guys want to give some input, what you guys think, um, feel free. So let's get started. Try to work our way down to solitude, and we'll actually see how this goes. You know, we are going to need to make some armor. Let's see if we can't get, eliminate the snow fox. Lovely. That's brilliant. I'm having some real frame rate issues, and I'm not sure why. Um, I have a pretty high end system, so if you guys have any suggestions on, you know, fixing this, maybe I'd love to hear them. The this is actually this is killing me. Um, oh, this is not good. All right, looks like we've already died. So probably we'll start back at the Thalmor Embassy again. And we'll see if we can't find another way down. Do you think that maybe the reason my frame rate is, is dying is because I am recording on the same hard drive that I'm playing the game off of? Would that Does that make sense? Um, you know, maybe just trying to use too much of the hard drive at once. May it per, uh, perhaps I should try to write to my external drive. The problem with that is I'd, I want to upload at 1080, but to do it on the external drive, I'll have to upload at 720. Um, I don't get a real good write speed on it. <clears throat> Alright, well, it looks like we might be getting a different alternate start. I wonder what we're going to get now. Or if it'll just put us in the same spot. Oh. No, it actually put us at Lost Prostate, uh, Prospect Mine. Which, let's see where that's at. Okay. So we're actually closer to Riften now. Maybe we will... You know. We'll make our way over to Riften. And we'll see again, you know, what we can gear up on Magicka-wise and such. Um... Spell wise, armor wise, weapon wise, and we'll we'll try to go from there. Let's see what do we, what do we have now? Did give us something different? It's still unarmed. Um, we actually got a shield this time. Um, as far as armor goes, we did we did get the same thing. Um, no weapons, so it looks like we're going to be relying on our magic. Alright. So it looks like we're going to start with our flames. Um, I don't actually want to go in there. I'm not 100% sure what might be in there. Uh, let's take this pickaxe. It could be useful. Um, you know what? Actually, we learned to make do with what we've got, so we can actually go ahead and use the pickaxe as a weapon. So we will do that. Uh, another one on screenshot moments. It's just, I love the way Skyrim looks. It's absolutely gorgeous. I actually think this would be a great picture if I could get it to line up right. All right. Sorry about that. Uh, you know. Obviously, if you're watching this, you play Skyrim, and I'm sure you, most of you will agree with me how, how great Skyrim looks. Um, you know, sometimes I just want to admire it, and I hope none of you will have hard feelings about me wanting to uh, stop and do screenshots on occasion. I actually see wolves there, so we're going to try to avoid that way. Let's see, what's the, what's the best way to rift in? Um... Looks like if we go that way, we'll actually have to loop around. Let's see if we can't 
Let's see if we can't go this way. I really don't want to run in with the wolves right now. Um, oh, did I, I want to pick up some heavy armor. And, oh wow, look at that. I need to fix my distance. Oh, this is not good. We're going to die. We're going to die. We're going to die. Um, um, I don't want to die. I really don't want to die. Um, maybe we can just heal. Okay, looks like we died again, and I did forget to save, so we're probably going to get another start. I, you guys really need to remind me to save. This this isn't good. Um, we just keep dying. And dying. We, we're pathetic. You know, for having escaped a bunch of bandits um, and being necromancers, we really don't know any necromancer spells. That's kind of upsetting. And we're, we're kind of a wuss. You know, I... It is a little upsetting. Well, let's hope this time we can remember to save and, you know, get a good start going. I just, I really don't know what's going on here why I can't just get over again for some reason decides to keep doing that All right. I'm not gonna forget to save this time as soon as it comes up I'm gonna hit save it's gonna happen Alright, this is this is really taking a while. Um, oh, of course, right as I say say something, it uh is gonna pull itself together. Oh wow, this is not good. It actually starts in the bandit camp, but we we're, we're not friendly to the bandits, so that means that they will. This is perfect. This is the perfect start. This is our escape from the bandit camp. They could not have given us a better start. This one goes exactly with the the role play, the storyline. So we've been held captive for years and we finally got a chance to escape. Oh, I am I'm so sorry about this lag. I have no clue what's going on. All right, so we got away the bandits don't seem too happy about it. We're gonna, we're gonna keep going this way. I have no clue what this Khajiit is running for. Oh, spiders. Well, that's lovely. Um, all right. You know what? This this frame rate's killing me. I'm am gonna go ahead and just save, and I'm going to, I'm gonna back out. I'm gonna stop recording, and I'm gonna. I'm going to take a look at, uh, see if I can't figure out why my system's running so slow. Maybe move the save files over to my external drive and try that. Um, I'll be right back. Alright guys, and I'm back. I, uh, had to figure all this stuff out. Um, hopefully this will work a little bit better. Um, looks like we're getting ready to find out. Let's, let's keep going. Everything we can. 
and head for uh, looks like we're heading for Dawnstar um, right now it would appear that the uh, the files are doing better um, my frame rates frame, frame rates doing all right and it looks like the video frame rates also doing pretty well um, let's hope it stays that way yeah it's a long walk definitely not activating frostfall yet because this armor this armor is definitely not cutting it Although, does my chick not have a belly button? Hmm. It must be because of the body mod I'm using. So yeah, we just escaped the bandit camp. Um, oh god, there's wolves, I'm gonna run. Oh, that's not good. We're gonna die. And we died, guys. Looks like we are actually going to have to try to find a different way around. Alright, where well, that's right up here that the wolves were, so see if we can zoom out a little bit and kind of see I'm just kind of sneak off to the side over here hope these giants don't kill us oh actually looks like let's go ahead and scavenge all of this Definitely don't want to fight a mammoth or a giant. But, we did pick up some armor. Um, let's see what we got. Oh, wow. Look at the difference between the first sleeveless armor and the worn for fur armor. Did get a helmet. Get some iron gauntlets. Got some mercenary boots. So we're kind of mixed match right now, but for the sake of sake of having armor, we'll uh, go ahead and use it for the sake of having some protection at least. Let's see, if we pick up any weapons. Alright. 
This does look like it's going to be much better for us. Yeah, so far this video is running much better than the other one was. I actually did a reboot, and against my better judgment, I decided to record in 720 instead of 1080. Um, however, it appears that something I did did the trick because the, the video is recording much better. Looks like we found Dawnstar. We don't look awful. That's good. Just kind of have a look around. You've come to Dawnstar. You know what? Now that we've got one, let's go ahead and put on this cloak yeah there's a little bit of clipping we're gonna have to find a different different one to use oh that's nice I used a mod uh, adds the waves from Dragonborn are from yeah from Dragonborn to the regular Skyrim where appropriate and the uh, tide actually looks pretty good right there Let's see what we can get. Looks like we're at the smith here. Seems like no one is getting a decent night's rest in Dawnstar. The finest weapons and armor. Let's see what we got for sale. Oh well, what we've got to sell. We got a heavy shield. Let's get rid of that. First shoes, first sleeveless armor, hide bracers. Um, we don't need that mace. We're not a two-handed. We're not doing the battle axe. We'll go ahead and keep the axe for, um, because we, we will be using Frostfall. We don't need, worn, we don't need any worn armor. It's no good. Um, yeah. We're not going to be able to afford anything. Um, good. Let's see. She's probably got the same. Everything. Yeah. Okay, well. After being held captive for so long, we really just wanna. I, I, I really just want to get a, get a room and rest for the night. So. We're going here. We'll see if there's anything. Going on. It has to be. I've got to get out of this town. Irgner, get a hold of yourself. They're just dreams. Please. I'm really not a fan of using helmets. They are just dreams. Although, since we will be using heavy armor, I'll be able to use the uh, steel fur hood helmet, so that'll be good. I'm um, actually gonna take a screenshot real quick. Don't mind me. I really hope this doesn't bother you guys. I don't want to get involved in that. Do you have a room? Don't uh, worry. I'd I'd like a room. Thank you. All right. Thank you. I'll show you to your room. I know where my room is. Look at me, I'm beautiful. Of course, I get the nice room. Let me know if there's anything else you need. All right, guys. Well, we've. You know, finally made it out of a start without dying, and made it to a town. Um, 
after being held captive for so long, like I said, um, she just wants a night rest, so I think we'll end it here, and then when we start back up, we'll head on out and try to start an adventure. You guys have any ideas for what you want me to do to start this off? Or, you know, any goals that I, my character should have in mind? Feel free to comment, like, subscribe, you know. Hit that, hit that button. Thanks a lot.